beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. Hopefully you liked this video. But meanwhile, go ahead and come with me to all these. Okay, it's that time again. I'm about to go to the grocery store as well as just show you guys what I have left. Self-care is empty. Matter of fact, I probably, I won't be stuffing it for this week because I already took the money that was stuffed for this week and got my nails done. Um, and because I shouldn't be getting my nails done for another three weeks. So starting next week, I will stuff, start stuffing again in self-care. And yeah, food and groceries. That's what I'm about to take out because I'm about to go to the grocery store right now. So I have $30 in here. So I have $30 to spend at the grocery store. While we edit, I got gas, $10 in gas. So I'll probably go ahead and stop and put this $10 in my tank as well since I'm out. So that will end that. Dine out, empty, entertainment, <laughs> empty, gift, empty, miscellaneous, empty. Wellness is something I just put back, just put this in here. Household, I just put this in here. Emergency, I still have $5 here. Everything's empty, so I will probably get some cash while I'm out. I'm not really sure because um, it is Saturday. So, yeah, especially with it being Saturday and me getting little groceries. These groceries will carry over into next week, which will also help with my budget for next week because, yeah, it seems like I will probably still have rollover unless I decide to do a larger grocery haul. Um, yes, yeah, so $10 for gas, $30 for groceries, and let's go spend this money, okay? I just left the grocery store. I'm about to leave right now. And let's just say, listen, the tips I gave on grocery shopping on a budget and trying to spend less and only getting what you need, it works if you follow them. Like, I went into all these. I, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't create a grocery list, a physical list. I had it in my head. But as I was going through, there was a couple items that I got that wasn't on my mental grocery list. Um, However, the reason why I got it is because I knew it was something I would want to get next week. Um, Which, Sunday, tomorrow is Sunday, and it starts a new week. So I was like to save on gas and save on time, why not go ahead and get it while I'm here? So technically, make a long story short, I did spend, my budget was $30. I did spend $42 and some change. And then my crazy tail self went to a self-checkout um, kiosk thingy. And I didn't realize it was card only, so I couldn't even use the cash because I would have split the payment. I would have paid the twelve dollars some change on my card and, and then spent the thirty dollars um, with the cash, but I couldn't even really do that. So yeah, um, paying with cash. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like paying with cash, it does. I can see it helping you to not overspend. However, it's very inconvenient. It's very, very inconvenient. I like sitting down and doing a cash stuff in. It's, it's, I don't know, it's, I like it. Um, yeah, and, and I mean, the method is not bad, but it's, it is inconvenient. Technically, I don't even want to say I went over budget because like I said, I got the items because there's certain things that I could have just left there um but i was like i'm in here so why not get it right now so technically i really didn't truly go over budget because like i said it's today's saturday sunday new week you know what i'm saying like really like let's be for real but that's how that went i'm about to go get gash gash <laughs> i do need to get cash i can't even talk i'm about i do need to get cash and i do need to get gas but I'm about to go to the gas station. It's literally right next door. And I'm at go. I'm going to go in there, pay the ten dollars. So I don't have to worry about going over on that. Um Yeah. And that ten dollars should put me almost back at full. So I lied again. I'm about to go in this grocery store and I'm about to get fifteen dollars instead of ten dollars, which twenty dollars was supposed to be towards groceries. See, this cash thing is very inconvenient because I feel like I'm at a gas station. Why, like, not go ahead and fill up? I feel like $15 will put me back at full. So why not go ahead and do that since I'm at the grocery store? I mean, since I'm at the gas station. Like, come on now. Like, why make another trip? I'm just saying.
On Halloween, GoPuff customers can order their free M&Ms to be delivered within an hour. Hop in throughout the day to get caught up on everything you need to know at Shutter.com. look forward to that time of calm and clarity to perform because it's uninterrupted. I can't take myself in. I have to be present with what I'm doing. And since I actually like unlocked that whole process with music in general, it changed my life. ESTD's word of the day. So let's get into this grocery haul that I spent $42 and some change on. Let's, let's get into this. So first bag, what do we have in here? You know, I kind of got off course, but as I said, I told y'all before what happened. Let me straight this up, straight y'all up some. Okay, I got some thin wheats. Never even tried thin wheats. Never even tried it, but we, you know, we, we got this snack. I did say I wanted some crackers. I didn't realize I was gonna get thin wheats. So hopefully y'all like it, okay? Um, got some bananas. I got some strawberry. One thing I noticed about fruits, because I've been wanting to do more fruits. This time of the year, fruits don't be hitting on it. You know what I'm saying? And then certain things be more expensive because blueberries, I'm not paying them a five dollars no blueberries. I'm just not about to do it. So you can't really find really good fruits this time of the year. The fruits that I normally like to eat, I should say. Um, I got some a dozen of eggs. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got some oranges. I have some bagels because I do already have some cream cheese that probably about to go bad soon. So I was like, okay. So that doesn't go to waste. Let me go ahead and get some bagels. And plus, that's, that's some meal right there. Um, I got some avocados. And lately, I've been like liking to eat avocados. If it don't do an avocado toast, which I could probably do it on a bagel, I can do avocado with boiled eggs. So grocery haul plus giving y'all some meal ideas or whatever. Um strawberries i can cut that up and i can make overnight oats and put the strawberries on top as well let's see so that's that bag um the other items that i got and i also got this bag which was 98 cents i got some spinach i will use the spinach pretty much to put in my eggs when i make scrambled eggs i will use this for that um yeah i might throw some in some smoothie but mostly I know I'm going to use it for the eggs. I have some vegan cheese. I've been on vegan cheese. I, I, am, I don't want to say I'm trying to switch over, but I am trying to cut back on my dairy product intake or whatever. So this is one of the ways that I do so. Sorry, I'm looking at the spinach like, what's that? Anyway, this is one of the ways I do so. So I try to, you know, yeah, I already said what I said. But some vegan cheese. Everywhere else is like almost five dollars. I can get it from all these for like three dollars or something. I got some salmon. If I pronounce it wrong, mind your business. You know what I'm talking about. I got this. This was probably like the most expensive thing I got. It was five ninety nine, but once again, it's like the most expensive thing I got. So I got this. How many in here? Um. I don't know, so I don't want to waste time trying to find out. But anyways, I got this. I got some rice um, that I can pair with that, as well as some frozen broccoli. I got that, so I can cook that with the fish. I already got some rice on deck. Um, yeah, I got my kombucha. This is one of those things where it's like, do you really need that? Um, I like to try to, especially with my gut, or whatever TMI, but I like to try to get probiotics and prebiotics in me some way, somehow, and this works or whatnot. This was two seventy nine, which was cheaper than like Full Line. Cause Full Line had them on sale um, recently for two for six dollars, which is three dollars a piece. This is two seventy nine, so I did get this two of those, and then last but not least my faves 
which is some roasted red pepper hummus. These are like $2.79 there as well. I can eat this with the crackers. Um, yeah, I have a thing for hummus now. So that is pretty much my $42 grocery haul. I would like to think that this is a lot of stuff, a nice, a nice amount of stuff for $42. Um, and if you minus the bag, $41. <laughs> Um, $41, so yeah, and once again, this today is Saturday, and I'm recording this, I grocery shop weekly, um, so clearly this is technically going into the next week, plus I have another $50 for next week to buy groceries, so I'm kind of ahead, um, which is really good, so yeah, hopefully I can get with somebody who can give me a little deal. And I can I can make that fifty dollar double. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I <laughs> hopefully I can do that. You know what I'm saying? But even if I can't, and I have to just take my fifty dollars and buy some more stuff. Yeah. So my goal and thing is right now is to really just focus on buying things that I know for a fact that I'm going to eat within that week um, instead of really like buying stuff for the following week per se. I know, I'm, I mean, I just, it's today's Saturday, this don't count as buying stuff for the following week, but you know what I'm saying? Like buying stuff, because sometimes stuff be going bad. That's, that's the point of the story. point of the story is stop buying stuff that you, I'm not sure that I'm going to eat before it goes bad. Let me just say that. So I can buy stuff that's for future weeks or whatever but it needs to be something that i know it's not gonna go bad for a while but other than that that's that's that on that that is my all these grocery haul hopefully y'all enjoy this video and y'all enjoy these hauls if you do be sure to go ahead and comment thumbs up tell me do you think this is a decent amount of stuff for this price do you think that i could have got a better deal like you have any tips let a girl know but anyways until next time you already know what it is it's peace it's love and it's a whole bunch of blessings out here be safe